morning dear friends wonderful new day and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ and i pronounce the blessings of his love and his presence and his peace to abide with you throughout this day today's meditation has uh, is centered around the two scripture passages one is the gospel according to st luke chapter 19 verse 10 and the second is the book of acts chapter 1 verse 8 now here is the message for today anyone who desires to follow jesus christ and become his disciples must experience two very personal encounters with the two divine person of the holy trinity The first encounter has to be a very personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. And this encounter will give you three four experiences that must be experienced in order to be a worthy person to be a follower of Christ. You need to have this experience with the Lord an encounter to be born again and to be changed and to be converted or saved and to be redeemed these are the four things that will happen when you have a very powerful encounter with Jesus Christ of Nazareth anyone who is listening to me who never had a personal encounter with Jesus Christ to in order to experience this amazing beautiful blessing that will make you a worthy follower of Jesus Christ it is important that you experience this encounter you know what a born again means to be a new creation according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 and to be changed means cause to become different or transformed and to convert means to change from one form or use to another form or another use that is what conversion means to be redeemed means to buy back i uh, to get back by paying a ransom jesus christ by his death and by his resurrection has achieved all these wonderful things for us to uh, have it in our own life if you are wondering what did jesus achieve for me by dying and rising again from the these are the th- blessings and my friends all the wealth you have you can you may spend but you will never be able to experience these wonderful blessings that will make you accepted by God the Father to be a christian means to have jesus abiding or jesus living in us that's what makes anyone a christian not his going to church or singing christian songs or nothing of this christ in you the hope of glory apostle paul says in colossians chapter 1 in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says if anyone is in christ jesus he is a new creation and that means all these gone now everything is new changed means now you have a new nature a new behavior a new relationship 
a new friends new family spiritual family the church and a new song to sing the old things that you used to sing you sing them no more there is a new song and there is a new perspective on life and death before you are afraid of death but now you are no longer afraid of death and there is a new future for you you are brought out of death into life and you are also brought out of darkness into a marvelous light hallelujah what an experience and uh, this life gives us hope hope of a life beyond this life a life beyond the grave and my friends when a child of god who became a disciple of jesus christ and serving him and loving him worshiping him you know when he dies his destination is not 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 the grave his destination is the sky hallelujah that is what makes so that is what uh, the, the the first encounter with the lord jesus christ will help you to have you enter into all these everything new and so with a new perspective of life and death in this life you live only for one thing only for jesus only to serve him and love him you can serve the lord by the way i am not suggesting that you leave all your job and whatever responsibility you have in this world you leave over no along with your job you can serve the lord very effectively because there are people men and women who to whom you can approach that others cannot approach what an opportunity that gives you and so an encounter with the person a very personal encounter with the lord jesus christ will open the door to these new new things that will come into your life and you are a new creation and the second encounter is one needs to have a, this personal encounter with the third person of the holy trinity which is the holy spirit and so these are the two encounters one must experience in order to, for you to be qualified to be a follower of the lord jesus christ an encounter with the holy spirit what does that do the holy spirit it is true that the moment you open your heart and allow jesus to come in and you are born again the holy spirit comes to live within you but at the same time that is not the only ministry the holy spirit does you need to have another encounter by which you are filled and you are baptized in the holy spirit it is the holy spirit who brings you to jesus in the first place the holy spirit has so many ministries without the holy spirit to bring you to jesus you will never come and without the holy spirit convicting you of your sin you will never repent and without the holy spirit enabling you to exercise the grace of god and repent and acknowledge christ as your lord and savior you cannot do it so the holy spirit is helping you to do all that and now that you are a disciple it is the holy spirit who brings who makes jesus very precious to you and once you are a disciple this is a new life 
new life in Christ and it is Christ's life within you and you cannot by your strength and wisdom live this new life of Christ in this world. You need the power to live it and that power has to be a divine power and that is the power that you receive from the Holy Spirit. That is why this confrontation. By this confrontation you come just like you come face to face with Jesus at the time of your born again experience. You come face to face with the Holy Spirit as the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And this is mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter, chapter 1, verse 8. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. This power is for what? See, at the time of your rebirth, the Holy Spirit comes and breathes upon you and you are alive. You become alive. You are dead in your sins and trespasses and the Holy Spirit breathes upon you a fresh new life, which is his life. And the same way, this new life which is in you now requires a divine power to live it out. And and, and uh, this new life, which is in Jesus Christ, also must be useful to the kingdom of God by you becoming a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. And so when the Holy Spirit comes upon you in this baptism of the Holy Spirit, like the disciples waiting in that upper room, according to God's command. You wait, you must be my witnesses all over the world. And, uh, but how are you going to do it though? You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. That is the purpose. Every born again saved person has to be a missionary has to be a, a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, whether you have a job or not. There is no full-time minister and half-time minister. You are a child of God and the Holy Spirit is given to you. And if you have not yet experienced that baptism in the Holy Spirit, I encourage you to believe God. He is only willing to baptize you in the Holy Ghost and power. And when that power comes upon you, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you will be a witness. You shall not be afraid. You will not be timid. Otherwise, you will be timid to talk to anyone and you are afraid whether they will accept or they will persecute you. And all these fears will be gone when you are baptized in the Holy Ghost and thus a personal confrontation you experience. And you know, the best examples are the, are the disciples themselves. If you know that these disciples were house, uh, how afraid they were. At the time of the crucifixion of Jesus, <coughs> all of them were ran away and they were scattered. So this new life you have in Jesus, requires that you also be a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ, which you cannot be unless the Holy Spirit comes and He will give you the power, the divine power to be a witness for Jesus Christ. And that is why one has to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Such a personal encounter with the Holy Spirit is necessary for you to be empowered and to be filled with the power and to be filled with love. The Holy Spirit will shed God's love into your heart, the Bible says. 
and his presence is needed for you to be sanctified and the original apostles are examples of these experiences and these changes happening in the lives of such committed lives of men and women christian life is an ongoing experience of a going higher from glory to glory and from victory to victory and ever growing in your stature as a disciple of Christ until you meet him in the rapture when Christ comes to take away his church are you getting ready be ready Christ is coming soon and let us not be afraid or ashamed when he comes let us have a something to present to him some souls that is what he wants so be a witness for jesus heavenly father and all my brothers and sisters who are listening this and blessed by your word may also now be blessed with the power and the anointing of the holy spirit that they may be witnesses for you and shine for you as it is said we as your people are the light of this world let the light shine thank you in jesus name amen this is a good day have a great day ahead of you